يؤتي الحكمة من يشاء ومن يؤتى الحكمة فقد أوتي خيرا كثيرا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا ارحم الراحمين. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us, benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people who listen and apply. So tonight inshallah ta'ala in our wow words of wisdom episode, we will be um, discussing an uh, a hikmah said by Sheikh Al-Sha'rawi Rahimahullah. Sheikh Sha'rawi, he said, as usual, I'll read in Arabic and I will translate. He said, أَسْوَأْ وَأَشْنَعْ مِنْ فِعْلِ الْحَرَامِ أَنْ تُسْلَبَ الْإِحْسَاسِ بِمَرَارَةِ الْحَرَامِ وَشَنَاعَتُهُ Subhanallah. He said, what is worse than, and more atrocious than committing haram is to be stripped away from feeling the shame and bitterness associated with it. What's worse than committing haram is being deprived, is being robbed from a feeling, from the feeling of regret, from the feeling of shame that is associated with, with haram. My dear brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, كل ابن آدم خطاء. Every son of Adam is a sinner. So the idea is not about sinning or not sinning. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. The point is that there is a difference between committing a sin and regretting it, feeling so bad that you have done it, and committing a sin and feeling nothing. As a matter of fact, you know, committing a sin, the beginning is the toughest part. The beginning of the haram, is the hardest part and then it gets easier and easier and some then people get used to it and then after that people start enjoying it and loving it and that is the worst the worst part so sinning we all sin when we are not feeling anything after we sin that is worse than the sin we become desensitized Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us that nadam, regret, is a tawbah by itself. When we feel regret, as if we have made tawbah, and regret is one of the pillars of tawbah. One of the pillars of repentance is to regret when uh, we, uh, we did a sin. Now, do the muttaqeen commit sins? Do the righteous, the pious commit sins? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Ali Imran, when he was explaining the characteristics of the muttaqeen, uh, he said, they spend in hardship and in ease. They control their anger. They forgive and pardon others. nas. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون One of the characteristics of the muttaqeen that are promised Jannah Allah said that they are, they commit, if they commit a major sin that means they do commit a major sin, right? The only difference is that immediately they remember Allah. Ya Allah, how did I do that? Why did I lie? Why did I drink? Why did I smoke this? Why did I go there? They immediately regret it and they remember Allah. Allah, And they ask Allah and they beg Allah to forgive them. That is the difference. When we are deprived from that feeling, that is the catastrophe. That is worse than the, the committing the haram itself. So it's not about committing the sin, it's about feeling the regret after committing the sin and begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to 
accept our repentance. That is the true believer. So my brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people who feel the regret and feel the, the sorrow after committing any sin. May Allah forgive all our sins. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. إن تجتنبوا كبائر ما تنهون عنه نكفر عنكم سيئاتكم وندخلكم مدخلا كريما